I went through this process in a recent video, you can find a link to that here, but I've had a few comments asking for a step-by-step -step guide, so that is the purpose of today's video. What's up guys, my name is George, I'm a freelance photographer and videographer based in Leeds. I make content on this channel all around photography, videography and tech. If you are interested in any of that, be sure to subscribe and welcome to the channel. Quick disclaimer, in this tutorial I will not physically be installing a copy of Windows as my PC already has a copy of Windows installed on it and it is my daily workstation so I'm not going to be resetting the PC in any way. But this tutorial will get you all the way up to that point by which point your Windows installer should boot up automatically on your PC. If you have any problems with this tutorial whatsoever, be sure to comment down below and I will do my best to answer any questions. Today we are creating a copy of Windows 10 on a Mac computer and then we are installing that onto our PC. For this tutorial, you will need a USB drive with a minimum of eight gigabyte capacity, your Mac computer or laptop with a photo of a black lab, as your desktop and a PC to install your copy of Windows onto. I'm not going to pick up the PC, so there's there's the mouse. First, you will need to make sure that your PC is powered off until we have inserted the USB drive at the end of this guide. Now let's hop onto our Mac and get started. You will need to insert your USB drive into your Mac. From here, then go to your Spotlight search and input Disk Utility. Bring up Disk Utility and you will find your USB drive. Mine is already formatted, but I will format it again anyway. You want to hit Erase and then change the format to XFAT. The reason we are doing this, which I mentioned in my previous video, is because MS-DOS, which you would normally try and use for a Mac Windows acceptable hard drive, limits an individual file size to 4 gigabyte, which for the purpose of this tutorial doesn't help us because the size of the Windows installer file is just over 4 gigabytes. So without having to do some extra legwork, just formatting it as XFAT makes this work totally fine. So format that hard drive that is now done. Then you will need to go to Microsoft. Just Google Microsoft Windows 10 download. From here, you will see a link that says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. Here, you will need to go down and pick Windows 10. Confirm that. Choose your language for whichever part of the world you're in. And then pick the 32-bit or 64-bit download. For the most part, you will only need 64-bit. Now we're just gonna wait for that to download. If you find this tutorial helpful so far, be sure to like and leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. And in an upcoming video, I will be showing you how to do this using an MS-DOS formatted hard drive using Wimlib and Homebrew, which I mentioned in my last video. That is coming out next week. So be sure to stick around so you don't miss that. With the Windows installer.iso file now downloaded, go to show in Finder. This will reveal it in your downloads. Double tap on the downloader, which will then open and extract the ISO file revealing the contents of the ISO. This is all the information you will need in order to boot up your Windows PC. Within sources, you will see there is a file which is install.wim. This is the culprit that has 4.61 gigabyte file size. This is the only file in there that prevents you from installing via an MS-DOS formatted hard drive. If it wasn't for this file, everything would work fine without using XFAT. But for the purposes of this, we can use XFAT, so it's no problem for us really. From this little window that's been extracted here, you can just close this and then next to your formatted XFAT hard drive, which is empty here, you will see you will see this driver that's come up, which is Triple C Coma X64, which is 64-bit English US DV9. It'll be something like that. Go on there, and within this you have all that information. Take this, Command C for copy. Go to your untitled XFAT hard drive, Command V for paste. Then you need to let this paste. It's 5.42 gigabyte, which is why you need an eight gigabyte or more capacity hard drive. With your installing information now copied over onto your untitled XFAT hard drive, you can then eject this. This is now ready to be used in your PC and install Windows 10 for you. 
Something to note which might stop your USB drive from popping up when you first turn on your PC is that if you put it into the PC case with the additional USB slot, it may not pick up the USB drive. So make sure to put it into the back of the motherboard where you can see your motherboard is exposed at the back of the PC, one of the primary USB slots, put it into there and then the PC will recognize it and boot up Windows automatically. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm out. I